hi guys how are you i hope you guys are all doing well your girl is back with a new video i don't know who the hell is she nowadays because i'm literally popping videos like there's no tomorrow um but i am back with a new q a but this time around the q a is going to be very very different it's not you're just your organic normal q a this q a is going to be all about my pregnancy and how it's been so far alhamdulillah um as you guys know or if you don't know then um i am pregnant alhamdulillah me and adil are expecting which is amazing this is my first pregnancy so everything is still brand new to me like i'm still you know discovering things day by day so I asked you guys on Instagram to send in a bunch of questions for me because when I announced I was pregnant on social media, I had so many questions, so many. So buckle up, get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack and let's get in to this Q&A. By the way, when you're pregnant, your throat is constantly dry, like constantly. I, li I feel like I'm always like drinking throughout the whole day, but like I feel like my mouth is always still so dry. So. If I have to pause a couple of times to drink water, then just please bear with me, you guys. Okay, so a bunch of you guys asked so many lovely questions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the right to the bottom and answer the first question. So so many of you guys are asking how far pregnant I am. I feel like that's the most asked question. Um, because even though I might not look like I'm quite far, I'm actually six months pregnant, alhamdulillah. Thanks to Allah, by the grace of God, I'm six months pregnant and it's been a long time coming. I don't know how I've kept it a secret from you guys for this long. And yeah, I feel like I couldn't like keep it a secret any longer because I'm starting to show now. What month is your delivery? I'm not gonna give like dates um, or like times and stuff like when I'm to you because I feel like that's a little bit personal, but I mean, you can kind of figure it out. If I'm six months pregnant, then, you know, you can kind of do the maths. You just never know. With pregnancy, I could be early, I could be late. You just never know. So, um, to answer your question, when, when, when are you due? I'm just going to kind of keep that little secret for myself. I hope that's okay with you guys. So, the next question is, do you know the gender? Will you be, another person asked, will you be revealing the gender? Another person asked, is a boy, like some of you guys want to know the gender. So basically, yes, I do know the gender of the child and I am just so, so happy, alhamdulillah. I was happy with either one. Like if it's a girl or if it's a boy, I, I'm still so happy because I've been blessed pregnant in the first place. So I'm honestly, like I don't mind. But yes, I do know the gender. Um, I will be doing a gender reveal. I've actually, <laughs> time you guys, there's so much to catch you guys up on. Like literally I have so much to say. So if I'm gonna be rambling in this video, I do apologize. But time you guys are watching this video, I've already had my gender reveal party with my family and friends. And basically we know the gender. So. Um, all you guys are going to have to do is be patient for a little bit longer because I am actually going to be vlogging my gender reveal uh, party. I'm going to be doing two videos actually. I'm going to be doing a gender reveal like prep and um, because I'm actually planning my own gender reveal like party which I know might sound a little bit crazy because a lot of people have it f done for them but I just thought you know what I want to take control and I actually want to do and plan my own gender reveal party which i know sounds silly but it's just such an exciting time because you get to find out the gender of your child um so yes i will be planning everything and buying everything from food catering decoration and literally everything so i'm going to be sharing the journey with you guys i'll be doing like a vlog style for that yeah stay tuned have so many fun pregnancy videos coming your way soon inshallah oh this is so cute this is not a question, but I just want to let you know, I've been following you since 2011. Oh my Lord, have I been on YouTube for that long? Bloody hell. Um, watching your videos since then, I am so, so happy for you. 
Oh, thank you so much. That's such a lovely thing to say. But oh my god, have I really been doing YouTube since 2011? Oh my lord. It seems like so long. What the hell? God, I've been on YouTube for so long. Bloody hell. <laughs> but thank you so much for still watching me. You haven't got bored of me just yet. Okay, so by the way, I'm going to be mentioning names or who's asked me like what because I feel like maybe some people don't want their names out on the internet. So I'm going to be respectful of that. Okay, so tips on conceiving. Okay. So my tip on conceiving is just be relaxed. Like, I feel like if you put a lot of pressure on yourself to be like, okay, by next year, I want to be pregnant. I want to have this child. I want to have two kids. I, like, just don't plan. Let it just kind of flow in the moment. If you and your husband talked about, okay, thinking about having a child next year, okay, cool. When you're trying, don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Just kind of go with the flow. And if it happens, it happens and it's the right time for you. And if it doesn't happen, then it's just not the right time for you. And just say Alhamdulillah and move on. But I feel like when you put a lot of pressure on yourself, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. So my tips on conceiving is just kind of go with the flow. I know it sounds pretty like basic like but honestly like that's one thing that worked for me i didn't want to put too much pressure um on ourselves to get pregnant like we kind of had a rough idea when we wanted to get pregnant so um this year um from all the years that we've been together um this year we did talk about it we were like okay like i feel like i'm ready i'm 29 you know gonna be here 30 soon so i feel like this age is like kind of the right time to get pregnant but i didn't want to put too much pressure on myself to get pregnant so um i just left it to allah made loads of dua and i was like if i get pregnant it happens if it doesn't happen then it's fine we can always try next year absolutely fine and that's why i did and alhamdulillah it works so i feel like if you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to get pregnant, then it's just not gonna happen. Um, just be relaxed, be calm, be like stress-free, and just make loads die. Okay, next question is, how did you both know you were ready for a child? Mashallah, very happy for you. Okay, I feel like you're never really ready for a child as such. Um, having a child is a scary thing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when I found out I was pregnant, I was like, shit. Um, I mean, excuse my French. I was just the first like thinking in my head. I was like, oh my god, I'm pregnant. Um, it's a scary thing. As much as it's a beautiful thing, and I'm so so blessed, and I'm so happy that I am. Alhamdulillah. It's a scary thing because your life changes. Your life is not the same anymore. Like if me and adult just want to nip into the car and go to the shops, we can't just just jump in the car and to go. It's like you have another responsibility with a child. So you'll have to take your child with you everywhere you go and you don't just take your child with you it's like prepare the nappies prepare the posture prepare um milk bottles like just just so much to think of now and it's not just about us two anymore it's another child that we have to consider and um, your life changes completely so i feel like there's no right time to kind of have a child or feel ready when you have a child i feel like if you and your partner just talk about it and be like, okay, you know, I feel like we kind of are ready-ish, then bismillah and go for it. But I feel like you're never really ready for a child because just you just never know what to expect. But I'm excited for the journey nevertheless. Like, I guess we'll soon find out. And um, But it's, yeah, like we weren't really ready. Like, I definitely wasn't. When I found out I was pregnant, I was like, oh my God. Because not only that, I feel like it's a lot of pressure on a woman because we kind of have to put our career on hold. Whereas a guy, he'll take some maternity leave off with you, but he's gonna go back to work in a month or so. So for him, it's he still goes back to reality, goes back to norm. Whereas us, as a woman, it's not the case. And I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that one. So for me, it's like, okay, being a self-employed person, having a child, how is my life gonna change? And is it gonna impact my work? Is it gonna impact my income? It's just a lot to consider, but that's that's just life. And you kind of just have to go with the flow and just put your trust in Allah and inshallah everything will be fine. But 
nevertheless having a child is an exciting journey because your life is not the same anymore it's like a new chapter and so many of you guys are still asking what week are you on when is your due date again sorry guys i just feel like it's a bit personal for me because i don't know what's going to happen i don't know if i'm going to have uh, like a smooth pregnancy i i everything's up in the air only allah knows so i don't want to give dates out there and put it out into the universe because i don't know what's going to happen um another question is how long did it take take you to conceive sorry if this is personal um okay so for us like i said i didn't put too much pressure like we didn't put pressure on ourselves to kind of get pregnant by this time by this date no um we just kind of we were trying and if it happened it happened and if it didn't it didn't so for the first couple of months it didn't happen and that's fine like we just moved, just moved on with life like just did normal daily stuff and yeah and then then we were pregnant so it, it's just basically there wasn't a time that we were try like working towards like when i get pregnant by january or like feb like it was just kind of if it happens it happens and you leave the rest to allah and just kind of hope for the best basically okay next question is how did you find out did you take the test together or did you surprise adam so that's a very good question now basically how i found out i was pregnant when we came back from turkey and um, if you haven't watched my istanbul vlogs i'll leave that link down below for you but basically i went to turkey a few months ago because adol got his hair transplant done and i documented the whole thing which basically by by the way guys i'm still gonna put that out there um with the hair transplant journey um we're still documenting it like month by month so it's the the journey is going to be a long journey so i can't really just put it out there and be like hey this is what's happened because it's still a work in progress if that makes sense so the video will be up at some point but not just yet but yeah we went to turkey because adol got his hair transplant done and uh, which was amazing and i talk more about that in the video basically when when i went to turkey I was actually one month late for my period and Adol was like take the pregnancy test take the pregnancy test like just just take it because you never know you could be pregnant and stuff like that and I was like hell no I am in Turkey right now I am not going to take a pregnancy test because if I find out that I'm pregnant automatically my body just going to react and I'm gonna for well, someone who suffers with anxiety like if you know you know I'm gonna get all sorts of anxiety. I'm gonna be really anxious. I'm gonna be like, what's gonna to happen to me now? I'm pregnant. Like, it, am I gonna feel like this? Am I gonna feel like that? I was like, I don't wanna put pressure on myself. I'm feeling okay. I'm in Turkey. I'm going out. I'm just, I'm, I'm okay. I'm feeling all right. So um, I said to him, when we come back to the UK, inshallah, I will take a pregnancy test. And that's what we did. So I came back to the UK. Um, the next day, took a pregnancy test. Um, and it was actually negative but my sister was like take a pregnancy test in the morning because um it's more effective if you are pregnant so i got a clear blue took the pregnancy test and left it in the toilet the stick and then i ran to the bedroom and i was like i don't want to know and i said to an adult you go and check if i'm pregnant or not and then he came into the bedroom and he was crying and he was like oh my god babe we're like we're pregnant like we're pregnant and i was like oh and he was like hello any emotions anything from you hello but it was just such a shock to the system it was such a shock for me that i was pregnant that it took me three months to actually like get to get to terms that i was actually pregnant um of course i was very very thankful alhamdulillah i was really happy that i was pregnant but it took me a while to adjust to the fact that i was pregnant if that makes sense so that's basically how we found out we were pregnant and there was no cute moments i didn't want to record or put like my camera anywhere and like like take any footage of us like like find out that we're pregnant or anything like that because i feel like it's a really personal moment and i feel like it should just be shared between the two couple like i don't know everyone's different i know some people love like sharing the journey online and and it's it's cute watching it because sometimes when i watch it i'm like oh it's so sweet or like i get emotional but i'm like that moment was just for us to kind of embrace and 
and we did and i feel like i didn't need to get any camera out to to record that moment because it was just a special one for us but for me even though i was one month late for my period it wasn't like a shock to the system it wasn't like oh my god you're deaf or pregnant it was just i had no symptoms i was absolutely fine i was feeling okay um secondly for me i was going to the gym every single day my diet was different i changed my whole diet i was eating so much healthier i was like eating really well um cut out all the junk out of my like diet i was like on a like a diet i was actually like working out and i was feeling so good about myself i thought oh you know what maybe i'm late because my diet has changed and that could be the reason but it wasn't <laughs> okay next question is how was your first trimester any cravings oh my lord girl where do i even start okay so as soon as we like like i said to you guys earlier i was in turkey didn't feel anything wasn't sick wasn't tired just felt normal normal yeah came to the uk took my pregnancy pregnancy test the next day when i say the next day the next day i literally started getting morning sickness please tell me why that happened and please tell me why my brain yeah my brain was like oh my god you're pregnant you need to start feeling a certain way and then bam i started getting one sickness oh my lord it's been a journey so i'm not gonna sit here and say pregnancy has been amazing and i have been loving every moment of it because that'd be a lie so the first trimester was the hardest trimester for me um i went through a lot a lot of lows in my first trimester it, i don't want to really go into it too much because i have never ever experienced anxiety and depression like i did in my first trimester that's all i'm gonna say i was really really low like imagine feeling sick all day i had to take time off work hence why i was silent on like social media um hence why i wasn't posted i took time off my business I took time off work i literally could physically not do anything i was really bad i was like physically feeling sick from the morning right until the night and i couldn't eat so the first trimester i actually lost a lot of weight i was probably eating like i'd have one toast in the morning i, I, I still remember what I'd, I'd have every morning i'd have ginger tea because I, apparently ginger tea was was it was a cure for like morning sickness but i don't know if it actually worked so i'd have like ginger tea every morning i'd have one toast with honey i still remember and then i wouldn't eat anything until lunch and then lunch i'd have like one potato like potato waffle that's literally all i fancied one potato waffle with some broccoli on the sides that's literally i'd have every single lunch and then i won't eat nothing until dinner and then dinner i what would i have like i'd have something again broccoli like the please don't tell that like, i don't understand why i i craved a lot of broccoli in my first trimester anyone else out there like if you're pregnant or you have been pregnant did you guys ever go through that but my first trimester all i wanted to do is eat broccoli every single day i, I have no idea why <laughs> um which actually worked in my favor because when i went for my blood test um my midwife was like oh my god your iron levels are really high like i'm really impressed and i was like what i'm anemic i am vegetarian i don't eat no meat or chicken like how the hell is my iron like really high and she's like i don't know like i eat anything i was like i'm eating broccoli every day and she's like that's why <laughs> but um yeah i just craved broccoli like all day every day and i feel like that was the only thing i was eating no word of a lie for like three months maybe like three and a half months and that's all i could stomach because i just used to feel sick all day every day and it was just such a dark 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 time for me um it was really bad and i just yeah it was not the best you know some people have good first trimesters and they're like i feel fine um i'm going out living my best life like doing like normal pregnancy stuff so yeah the first trimester was another one for me okay another one and also um to answer sorry to answer your next question is did i have any cravings i had no cravings i still have no cravings you guys i have no cravings okay i think it's kind of a blessing in disguise because if i did have cravings 
that's all I would want to eat really isn't it so I'm kind of happy that I didn't have any I don't have any cravings um I'm not sure if like in my third trimester I'll have cravings but they say you usually have cravings in your first trimester and your second but yeah hate to disappoint but I have no crazy cravings out here sorry um another one another question is I wonder how Nico and Silva will adapt I know if you guys don't know Nico and Silva are my two cats and my two cats are my babies like oh, i love my cats so but yeah i am so excited to see how they're gonna adapt i know when we first get the baby home i've seen loads of videos of this on tiktok anyways um the cats always go up to them and like sniff them like who is this new human I, I do not recall this smell so i know they're gonna act a little bit weird at first but i'm just excited because i see like cute videos as well like the baby is sleeping in the bed and then like the cat or something will sleep next to them and it's cute okay it's cute okay so another by the way i keep on changing the light because the light is like going light dark it's all over the place so next question is how did you how did your family react to the news it was actually a really cute moment i remember this day it was eat we're going down to my i think it was my sister's house i think it was yeah i think it was my sister's house and i was driving my little sister and i had the pregnancy test in my bag and i said to her oh open the zip because i bought something for you guys and i wanted to give it to you but i'm driver right now so just like, open my bag and just like get it so she opened my bag and she saw the pregnancy test and i was like and she said what the hell is this and i was like your girl's pregnant or whatever and then uh, she couldn't believe it she was really happy for me and then when we went back to my sister's house i told everyone i was pregnant and they couldn't believe it and they were like no way it's about freaking time but <laughs> um yeah it was just such a lovely moment it wasn't like anything dramatic i didn't really record anyone's like reactions or anything like that but it was just basically i feel like it was the right moment to kind of announce i was pregnant on eid because everyone was getting together like my family don't all like don't usually all get together but on eid day like everyone's here so um i thought that was a perfect time to just announce that i was pregnant and i told everyone and happily it was such a lovely day okay another question is were you being sick or did you feel sick in your first trimester so alhamdulillah for me i wasn't actually being sick but i felt sick but there was one day i still remember it really bad i actually had this i don't know i can't really think of, of the name on the top of my mind right now but i have a genuine phobia of being sick like there's a specific word for it i know there is a word out there but i have a phobia of being sick so for me when i found out i was pregnant i was really nervous because i was like oh my god how the hell am i gonna like be because like if if you have the same issue as me you'll understand like even the sound of someone being sick or even the smell of being sick or just being sick yourself i have a massive phobia so yeah i was really nervous about the whole thing but alhamdulillah like i wasn't being sick i just felt sick and quite a few times i was actually at, at the age of being sick um I knew I had to call the like midwives and tell them like I have a genuine phobia so like please sort me out um so I did and they just gave me over the counter like sickness tablets for pregnant for pregnancy so I would take those just to prevent me being sick because that's how scared I was of being sick so yeah so the last question is how are you feeling now I hope you're feeling good so alhamdulillah I am in my second trimester I am feeling so much better and if you're watching this and you're pregnant trust me when they say the difference between the first trimester and the second trimester there's a light in the end of the tunnel that's all i'm gonna say like trust me like it's i know it's not the case for everyone and i can imagine what you're going through if that is you but for most people the second trimester is a huge difference so alhamdulillah second trimester has been a blessing i have so much more energy to do things i'm able to go out without feeling like horrible um i'm not feeling sick anymore alhamdulillah um i'm eating so much better i actually fancy food and it's nice because i was starving the first trimester i'd literally physically be so hungry but i wouldn't eat because i'd feel sick so it was just a horrible like horrible time but alhamdulillah like, i'm eating everything that i want to eat um no cravings though but um yeah feeling so much better have more energy to do things and alhamdulillah like it's just 
it's the second trimester is so much better than the first i know the third trimester is a bit more difficult because you're a lot more heavier and you're just tired and stuff all the time but second trimester is a lot easier and um, so i needed to hear that because when people used to say this to me like oh trust me the second trimester you'll be fine and when i was in the first trimester going through what i was going through and people say oh you trust trust me the second trimester will be fine and i didn't believe them trust me the second trimester is so much better so just trust the process there is a light at the end of the tunnel i promise you but yeah you guys that is everything i feel like i answered a lot of you lots of questions and um, if you guys have any more questions by all means i don't mind doing a part two i actually really enjoyed chatting to you guys i feel like i'm just sitting here with the bestie like just opening up and just having a normal one-to-one -one conversation it's really really nice and i'm just excited to be doing a lot more like pregnancy related like videos and it's it's just all exciting okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up and i shall see you guys in my next video